Hello, 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 you sexy motherfuckers. It's Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas or Happy Christmas, whatever one you say. I don't know, Merry? Happy, Merry sounds better. Merry Christmas to each of you filthy animals that are still watching the Georgie Boy. If you know me, if you followed the channel for a while, it's a tradition that every Christmas day we do a Christmas day vlog for some apparent reason. I'm not sure why. They're not really that good, but if you want to watch it, if you want to see what I get up to, which is not much. Does everyone else get a little bit bored on Christmas day? I'm going to whisper that because I don't want anyone else to hear. Sometimes they're a little bit boring, depending on what you do, of course. Either way, sit back, relax, and uh, Miss Sicky has just got up. Sister went out last night and she was uh, sick, yeah, drastically sick last night, which woke everyone up in the house. So yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy this vlog. Um, and let's open some fucking presents, mate, because man, I want some fucking new stuff, mate, because I'm fucking wearing the same fucking shit all the fucking time. Anyway, <laughs> welcome for a minute, bye. Okay, okay, so meal number one. We have two medium-sized eggs. We have, I think it was 100 grams of the ready-cooked salmon, which you can get from the shop. And we also have two bagels, the cinnamon and raisin ones. These are what I'm gonna use. They're actually sliced up already, which is pretty good. I love cinnamon and raisin, especially the bagels. They smell terrific. Burn it a little bit, but it is what it is. That's gonna be my meal number one. Absolutely proper. Let me give you a live taste test because I'm sure you're all dying to know exactly what this tastes like. That was a joke, by the way. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. It's not going to focus, is it? It's just going to focus on me. About right. Fucking hell. Salmon on bagels, eh? Absolutely splendid. No idea the macros, but guess what? Dog hair. It's Christmas dog hair. That's my number one. Jeez. Isn't that right, boy? What's all this? What's all this? What's all this? Here he is, the go-to goat. There he is. Look at him. Come on, come here. You come here. Come here. Yes, there he is. Yeah. Good boy. Nice. Good boy. Yeah. Go on, boy. Oh, no. I know. Oh, yeah. What's that? Oh, that's a What's that? 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 I don't know what we're going to call it. What is the animal? What's that? I don't know. I don't know what we're going to call it. Get it. <laughs> so at Christmas time, mum always leaves a little goodie bag outside uh, my room. It's like a little stocking villa where she puts uh, some little shit, little shitty stuff in, but it's essential. For example, the David Beckham deodorant and shower gel. It's just basic stuff which you need. Um, some, what the fuck is this? Some boxes. I go through boxes like nobody's business, so handy. Also, what is this? Some beard shampoo and conditioner. Nice. Like that, right that. She also got me peanut chocolate bar let me give this a little taste test now i've heard good things about these the one i've actually tried is the milk chocolate one never tried the peanut butter one and of course it says it's new so they ain't been out for that long let me give you a little taste i can't believe it's like what midday and i'm eating chocolate actually pretty good i've got a little malteser bit um malteser little m m bits fuck it nice and some himalayan pink rock salt with whole black pepper no idea when i'm going to use this i'm definitely not putting black pepper on my oats that's for sure but i guess i'll use it somehow we've also got some more david beckham stuff so i'm stocked up pretty much for the year in terms of deodorant and shower gel by the looks of it which is lovely little goodie bag left outside my room beautiful hey boy you say for christmas christmas hey boy So you're not 
let me show you a few bits which I got for Christmas. I'm sure you're sitting here probably not giving a fuck, but there might be one or two people which actually care. First off, you know I'm a big fan of wearing blue light blockers at night and my previous blue light blockers got eaten by the dog and they look absolutely awful. They look like I'm a bloody construction site worker or something like that. You, you, you probably know what I'm on about. Anyway, got myself a new pair of blue light blockers and they are pretty fancy and they're quite expensive too. That's what they look like. I look a lot more better, although I still look like a twat. I look a lot more better than what I was previously looking like, which is good. They even, they, they even come with a little case, which is nice. And they also come with some stuff, you know, the polish cleaning mist fabric, which you can get to clean your glasses. As you can see, I don't wear glasses. When I get weird stuff like this, I really appreciate it. It comes in a nice fancy box like that, which is good. Why am I still wearing these? That is the question. <laughs> now, the second present is one of the, the presents which are, which is a standard present. I'm not even looking at the camera then, am I? One present I get each and every year because I go through razors like nobody's business is a pink Philips uh, lady shaver. Now, men, you might think, well, you might be thinking, George, that's for girls. It's pink, look, it's fucking pink. Trust me, this is the best, if you shave your body like me, this is the best lady shaver you can possibly buy, I promise you. Get it from Boots, it's about 20, 30 quid, depending on what time of year you get it, but it is the goat. It's a really, really good shaver, and if you're into shaving your beard or or trimming or making sure the edges are neat, shaving your arms, your chest, your legs, whatever, get this. Um, and you will, won't be disappointed, I promise you that. And that ain't something from me. Also, one of my favorites, I got a Monster Factory t-shirt. Show you, obviously, classic Monster Factory. And then on the back, it says lift, and then it says, what is it, I don't know what it says. Or do you not lift? These are no try. No idea what that means, but there we go. Probably even didn't, probably didn't even read that right. And I've got another t-shirt, obviously classic Monster Factory on the front, and then on the back, it's got like some hardcore detailed pattern, which says, Fear no evil. Absolutely lovely. Yeah, I, I could go through absolutely everything I, show, I showed you. Everything I showed you, I could have gone through absolutely everything that I got. But, you know, I've been watching for two minutes. I'm sure you don't care. You don't. You really don't. Glasses, shaver, t shirt socks, pants, the usual stuff. And uh, I didn't even ask for much. I'm at to a point now where I get to the age where I can just buy it myself. If I want something, I'll buy it. You know, I'm not that age at like 15, 16 miles fucking app. Like every year I used to get like a PS4 or a new iPhone. You know, I've got a new iPhone, I bought a new iPhone this year. I've already got the X, uh, PS4, sorry. So I can buy pretty much what I need, if that makes sense. Um, and that's true of working hard and just getting my head down and yeah, I'm not gonna go into that right now, am I? Nah. Of course, the sandwiches, turkey sandwiches, don't know why. But it, apparently it's a tradition to have some turkey sandwiches at Christmas, no idea why. It's the only time I actually have a sandwich. I never eat sandwich. We have turkey, so uh, turkey sausages, turkey sandwich, little sausage thing, don't know you call it. Yeah, cocktail sausage, that's it. Pork pie. And then, scotch egg. Beautiful. Christmas day. Well spent. So, years ago, I used to do right. What can I do that can stand out from the rest? So then I pioneered to the figure I created Rocket the Rain. Pain. It's great, isn't it? Christmas is great. Fantastic, that. Yeah, it's, it's weird, as I said earlier. I never eat sandwiches. I can't remember the last time I ate a sandwich. Probably when I used to play out with my friends when I was younger. But at Christmas time, yeah. Sandwich with butter and mayonnaise. One, I never have butter. Two, I never have mayonnaise. And I never eat bread because it makes me shit myself. And I never eat sausage, never eat pork pies, never eat scotch eggs. But Christmas I do. The bad boys are coming out. Original, cheese and onion. I'm a cheese and onion guy all day. Just found these bad boys. Cheese and onion rolls and also sausage rolls. Cheese. Check these bad boys out. Check that out. Nice. There's only one way to find out what it tastes like. Taste test. Not sure what it tastes like. Normal sausage roll. I don't mind sausage roll, don't mind it, don't mind a bit of pastry, yeah. Worst vlog ever. Final meal going 
down. Gonna be the cream of rice birthday cake flavor. Not my favorite, not gonna lie to you. First is milk chocolate. Second is the cinnamon cereal. And third is the birthday cake flavor. I haven't tried the vanilla yet, but birthday cake flavor is my least favorite, but I haven't got any others in total honesty. Watching some like Gordon Ramsay, hotel hell stuff, fuck knows what that's about. And also gonna have some uh, whey protein to go with that. Gonna add some sludge on top, some blueberries, and that is gonna be my final meal. Absolutely love it. Have you read the books on this kids? Uh, I. <laughs> but if I'm doing there, you're not the head bus boy, you're not the bar. You're the what I'm also gonna happen with my cream of rice is a cookie. Tesco's finest triple chocolate cookies. One of the best, hands down, one of the best. You never try one of these? I suggest trying so. And you've always got to test it. You've got to test whether it's soft in the middle. If it's soft in the middle, you're good to go. If it's hard, like a biscuit, you're not good. Don't buy them. They have to be soft. Pengers, mate. Lovely. It's light, come on. Yes, good. It's light, come on. Drive, come on. Up, yes, knock out. Good, one more's there, take it, come on. Come on, George. Drive, yep, chest up, chest up, come on. Yes. Nice. Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on. Back up. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Let's go now. Come on. Let's go. Get that one up. Come on. Yes. Oh, beautiful. So some deadlift PRs were hit the other day. I hit 180 for a set, or well, for one rep. Quite comfortable actually. Then I did 170 for a set of three, as you probably saw. Nathan did 260, 260, yeah, 260 for one, which is fucking crazy, crazy strong compared to my pathetic 180. But you know, I've been I've been dieting for the most of this year. I'm excited. I was happy I actually got 180 kilos because I haven't actually spent a long time deadlifting. I've only really this year is the 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 longest I've actually spent doing it consistently. I've been kind of in and out doing it in the past because I never used to be able to lift as much as what I want And I thought fuck it, you know, I'm not gonna deadlift if I can't, you know, perform it as, as good as what I want to Which is annoying, but good to see 180 finally move I've never pulled that in my life, believe it or not My goal is definitely to get that up to 200 next year um, And get 180 for a set of no, you know, for like 10, that would be really, really good But that's gonna come with time, patience, more body fat, more food And, and potentially some drugs, which should be cool but Anyway, lots of love, um, I, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video if you have done comment down below max there he is the guy the goat he has an instagram page it's called max osborne 08 um i'll probably tag it down below here make sure you follow him and i'll post some really good photos of him because i know a lot of you guys enjoy this weird ugly looking ratty dog don't ya <laughs> look at him merry christmas happy new year and i shall see you guys in a bit lots of love